Hi, welcome back to Short Reviews. My name is Jesse, and today I'm reviewing Court and Spark by Joni Mitchell. This is number 113 on Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time. As I've been on this uh, musical project this year, listening to so much music that I hadn't heard before, uh, inevitably there have been a handful of albums that have really changed how I listen to music. The kind of music that I thought I liked um, and the kind of music that I make, honestly, has been affected by uh, a, a lot of this music that I've heard. Albums by Etta James, a lot by Elton John, Jackson Brown, The Fugees, and uh, others. That changed my perception of what great music is. This album by Joni Mitchell is another one. As soon as this album starts, you hear sort of um, a dichotomy, a, a duality between really, really uh, creamy accessibility uh, with the melodies, the subject matter that she sings about, and her plain, direct, and extremely authentic sounding uh, voice. And that is sort of contrasted with the more adventurous uh, structures, the arrangements, and the harmonic progressions that never, they never seem odd. Like somehow it all works together <laughs> in a way that's, that's really, really extraordinary. Because it's not common, it's, it's uncommon things that she does, but it's done so well and put together so efficiently that it all just seems inevitable. I think this album is a true work of art, sparks of genius, and it definitely deserves a place among the greatest albums of all time. For those reasons, I'm giving Court and Spark four out of four. Hey, thanks for watching this review. If you have something to add about Joni Mitchell's work, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think about uh, Court and Spark. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and I will see you next time.